Hello and welcome to the channel and welcome to the video. Today we're going to be looking at the installation process of a Comma 2 device on a 2021 Hyundai Palisade. Um, so for today's video we're going to break that up into a few parts. First we're going to look at the unboxing of the device. Um, and look at what does it all come with uh, to do the installation, depending on your vehicle. Then we will look at the actual vehicle installation process, which will be quite similar for most vehicles. As I said, we're going to look specifically at the 2021 Hyundai Palisade. Um, but if you have another vehicle, especially a Hyundai, it's going to be a very similar process. Uh, then we'll look at the installation process for Open Pilot. Open Pilot is the open source software that is actually what performs the level two driving automation task. Um, so level two driving, if you're not familiar with the, the levels of uh, driving automation, level two driving is basically a driver assist type system. So it is not full self-driving. Um, nobody to date's actually achieving full self-driving with level two. You are going to need to still pay attention to the road um, because it's not going to be able to drive under all circumstances. Um, we will have a follow-up video for our first test drive so we'll look at what kind of capabilities this system does have uh, specifically with our Palisade. So without further ado let's go ahead and get into the unboxing. All right here we are with the unboxing of the Kama 2. Um, so what's currently shown is uh, the items included in the package they send. So they give you this hat for free. Um, I think that's a current promotion they're doing, which I think personally looks better on my wife than myself. Uh, they include this little postcard as a thank you. And here's the box that the Comma 2 comes in. So let's open it up. Welcome to the fleet. So it says to grab your phone to get started, go to comma.ai slash setup for step-by-step -step instructions, um, which we will be going through the open pilot installation um, in the next segment of this video. She is. Looks like already in the mount. So they 3D <clears throat> they 3D print these mounts. Um, so the reason they do that, to my understanding, is that there's a, a cooling system, like a fan, um, and some controls built into this thing. Um, since it is processing quite a bit of power, so they got to keep it cool. And then this is the section that mounts onto the window, which we'll go through the hardware installation in another segment later. So you can see the camera. And I think that does it. I bought this in May of 2021, and at the time it was um, $1,099 um, for the Comma 2. And you do have to buy a harness that's specific to your vehicle. Um, so the all uh, all harnesses cost two hundred dollars. Twelve ninety nine is your total out the door price um, to get going with the Kama Two. All right, looks like we have in our case the harness. So we're going to be doing the installation um, on a two thousand twenty one Hyundai Palisade. That's it for the unboxing, the Comma 2. 
All right, here we are looking at the Comma 2 hardware installation in our 21 Palisade. So they do provide you with some information on the mounting tips for the device. Um, but first, we want to take a look at the mirror. So if we look up by the rear view mirror, I have actually already taken the liberty to remove some of the paneling. So this panel was up here along with this little cover that helped to hold it in place. So um, I tried to find instructions on the internet about removal of this or videos, and I actually was not able to find all that much information. Um, I recommend taking a really thin um, type screwdriver, something like this, and just kind of getting in there to remove this center piece. And then for the larger piece of plastic, um, one video was suggesting they had to use a lot of force. Uh, you do not need to use a lot of force at all. I just needed to shift it kind of to the side and it was able to drop down. Um, so you should not need to use a lot of force to remove this. Otherwise you may break some of these plastic clips. Um, all right. And so once that's removed, the next step is to take a piece of the harness that comes with the comma 2. So this is going to be specific to your vehicle. So you can see there's a couple wires on this. Um, and then there's the RJ45 port on one end of it. And that's what will be running across the vehicle um, down to near the driver's side. I'll show you later. Um, Okay, so then we just need to get this clip removed. So if you take a screwdriver like this, kind of push up on it to undo the clip and replace it with the harness clip like that. Make sure you clip it in all the way and then take the original clip and plug it into the harness receptacle. Just like that. And now you'll see we have on this end an RJ45 port and the USB-C cable to power the Comma 2 device. Okay, we're back and what we've done here is kind of taken the liberty to go ahead and assemble some of this uh, off camera. And to be honest, um, to get the harness concealed underneath this plastic cover uh, that's above the rear view mirror, at least in the 21 Hyundai Palisade was actually very difficult. So uh, the engineers did not leave much room underneath this cover. Um, there's not a lot of extra space under there. So um, the bulk of the harness uh, required for the Comma 2 uh, was pretty difficult to fit in there. Um, the solution that I came up with was to put the harness, um, the main receptacle, um, about where my finger is, if you can tell, so kind of on the edge of that, um, the protrusion here. And then uh, the additional piece to the harness sort of off to the side from there. Um, so my advice is just, yeah, do your best. If you're in a 21 Palisade, um, do your best to kind of squeeze it in there. Uh, it's not very easy, uh, just takes a bit of patience. Hopefully, maybe other vehicles are a bit simpler than this one was. Um, but of the overall installation process thus far, that was definitely the most uh, difficult and frustrating part. So you can see our USB-C cable um, is run out from underneath the cover there, off to the right side of the mirror, since that's where our power uh, connection goes into the Comma 2. And you can also see um, the mount has been put in place um, so that's supposed to be centered on the vehicle as much as possible. Um, and then you want it nice and straight across so that um, when you put the comma 2, you mount it up there. Um, it's nice and um, straight against the windshield running left to right. Um, and in terms of the RJ45 cable, um, that also is coming out from under the cover. And uh, we just simply routed that. Um, along the headliner as my fingers showing and then down around the a pillar Now I've seen in other videos a um, bunch of comments people concerned about oh you shouldn't do this because the airbag and this you know this whole thing um, Blows off as the airbag deploys. I think it's a bit overly concerned um, 
that this cable is going to be problematic for the airbag. I mean, this cover in itself already has to come off. Um, for there to be a cable there, I don't see that being a huge issue personally. Um, then the rest of the cable is routed under the weather stripping here all the way down. Uh, if I open the door, you can see we just continue down the stripping and down into the bottom here is where we ultimately will plug in the RJ45, which I'll show you in just a moment. Okay, now we will install the RJ45 cable, um, plug it into the other end here. I believe they call it the OBD2 connector. Um, you can see we're on the left side of the steering wheel and it is below the fuse box, so it is not in the fuse box. I think this is typically where it's at in most vehicles. So you can see we have this connector that shipped with our comma 2 and the RJ45 can plug in right there. So we just push our adapter on and it will only fit a certain direction so you don't have to worry about it being installed the wrong way. Just get my cable untucked here. And just like that. There we go. Okay, and now the final step is just to mount the actual Comma 2 device to our window, which we've already done the window mount. Um, after you do that, you want to make sure you leave it for 48 hours. That's the recommended time. Um, be sure you do follow the mounting tips it gives you some pointers on how to make sure you get a good firm mount on there so that you don't have to worry about your comma falling off and we'll first to make it easier plug in the USB-C which looks like it'll start the initialization process for the comma 2 And I'll just slide it into place. Just like that. And so we can see, since I plugged it in, the initialization is taking place. So this is the first time the Comma 2 has had power to it. Continue to set up. So go ahead and uh, you can connect to Wi Fi. Okay, and once you're connected to Wi Fi, continue. Now, this is the uh, in a critical step. It wants to ask if you are going to do a dash cam software install or custom software. So by default, um, Comma AI ships this device to function as a, a dash cam for liability reasons. Um, but we want open pilot, so we will do custom software. And now we simply enter the URL to get open pilot. Okay, so to get open pilot, software we just enter openpilot dot comma that is spell comma dot ai install software Okay, so once you scroll through all those terms, accept if you so wish. And now we're into the training. Um, so to get familiar with how OpenPilot works with your vehicle, um, there's a little sort of training session. OpenPilot can determine a path to drive, maintain a maximum speed, maintain a safe distance from a lead car, and change lanes with driver assistance. Open pilot cannot stay engaged while the driver is distracted. It 
cannot see other cars during a lane change. It cannot stop for red lights, stop signs, or pedestrians. And it cannot react to unsafe situations like vehicle cut-ins or road hazards. All right, we have finished the training. You can replay that at any time. All right, this looks uh, like the dash, so pair your device with the Calma Connect app, um, which I'll have to stop filming to do that myself. But let's see if we hit that. Yeah, so we have a QR code we need to scan with our phone. Okay, so I simply downloaded the Comma Connect app, scanned the QR code, and here we are. This is the screen it now shows. Um, I believe Comma Prime should come with the device free for three months. Uh, yeah, so at this point, the car, um, I believe, should be ready to go. And stay tuned for the first test drive of the Comma 2 in our 21 Hyundai Palisade. All right, so in summary, we've done the unboxing, the hardware install, and the software install of OpenPilot. So for the unboxing of the Comma 2, there were no surprises. It was a very professional experience. They threw in the free hat, which was cool. Um, so no complaints there. Uh, as far as the hardware, uh, this was the most difficult aspect. Um, that is installing the Comma 2 into the vehicle. Uh, in our case, it was a 2021 Hyundai Palisade, but it's going to be similar for most vehicles, um, especially securing the harness underneath the uh, rear view mirror cover. Um, that was especially difficult in this vehicle. Um, and then as far as the software installation for OpenPilot to have the level two driving automation capabilities, um, that was actually surprisingly easy and straightforward in my opinion. Um, it had the good training menus as well once it went through once the software installation was done. Um, and it would have made sense for it to have like a ready to drive um, sort of flash or splash screen when it was done um, to just give you um, that feeling of like, all right, you're ready to go. It's good. You can start driving now. Um, that would be my only suggestion there. Um, and so that's it. Um, and so uh, follow up for our next video on the first test drive. We're going to take it for uh, around here in Colorado. If you like this video, if it was helpful, please like and subscribe. Thank you.